Hey guys, just a little bit of cold weather prep for you. As the days get shorter and the nights get longer, winter is coming. You might be stuck somewhere without warm gear. You never know how the weather might change. This is something easy you can put in your car. It might just save your life. All right, guys, let's talk about this little winter prep bag that I've put in my vehicle. As you can see, I've got everything laid out here. There's an extra sweater. Whew. A little warm inside. I've got a t-shirt, a pair of baggy pants, winter socks, fingerless gloves, a slim, tight-fitting pair of socks, pair of my favorite PJs and a scarf. So let's go ahead and pack it up. You take your dry sack. I recommend something about this size for your entire outfit. And you're going to want to put in the items that you're going to wear first. It's, if it's cold and you're changing clothes, you want to put them on quickly. So that the outermost layers go on the very bottom, right? wrong. You might not need the entire outfit. You might only need one layer. So let's put the inner layers on the very bottom and we'll put the outer layers on the very top so that if you need a quick sweater or an extra layer around your legs or gloves, you can grab them quickly. So the very base layer, we're going to go with our underwear. In my case, boxers. Straight into the bottom. Tight fitting socks. <clears throat> PJ pants. All the way down in there. Make sure you pack them in nice and tight. Now we're going to put our t-shirt in there. You can fold it up or you can just make a ball. Nice and compact. All the way in the base of the bag. Okay. So now we're looking at our outside layer. A pair of baggy pants winter socks, a nice sweater, gloves, and our favorite scarf. Usually, the only thing I'm going to need is a sweater and maybe gloves. So I'm going to wait till the end to put those in. The extra pants, for me personally, you might be different. My legs don't usually get as cold as my core. I want my core to be warmer. I want my hands to be warm so I can still work. So we're going to go ahead and roll up the pants and then bunch them up and stuff them in the dry sack. There we go. The next thing I'm going to put in there is the fuzzy socks. A good pair of winter socks can't be beat. All the way down in there. Make sure you push it nice down, all the way down. All right. The sweater is big and bulky. So this one you actually need to fold. You want this to be about the size and diameter as your bag. So when you stuff it in, it fills the whole space. And again, guys, it doesn't really matter how you pack this. You can use old Walmart bags, or excuse me, grocery bags. You can just have them folded in the back of your car. The important thing is being prepared. I'll toss in my scarf now, my pair of gloves, and one thing I forgot to lay out, a beanie. It's not much, but it covers your ears. Comes in handy when it's cold. Stuff everything down in there, pack it as tight as you can. And if, you, if you're using a dry sack, you just roll down the top. Roll it a couple times, connect it, and there you go. This will fit easily in the trunk of your car. You can put it beside the door. Winter gear, ready. 
Having an extra set of winter clothing could mean the difference between survival and your death, or just surviving and surthriving. It's just that easy to be prepared.